Welcome back to Kai Talks. I'm Kai Ninja, and I'm super pumped to get this podcast started. Let's cut to the chase. This is a Kai Talks, Kai Talks. See what I did there? Yep, there are no guests today. It's just me, my thoughts, and my opinion. Okay, today we're going to talk about bullying. And guys... I, I know you, some people don't believe this, but me, Kai, Nin, Kai Ninja from Kai Talks, has been bullied at school. I know, it's crazy. One of the definitions I found is bullying is when you hurt someone else because you're hurting inside. Today I talk about my experience with bullying, how you can help someone being bullied, what people think of bullies, and the impact being bullied has on people. Guys, can I be honest with you? Because honestly, school's been very difficult for me. Kids have been kicking my chair in a class. Kids have been like slamming the door when I try to pass through. They've been picking on me, teasing me, bullying me. And, and it makes it's very difficult. It makes me feel very sad. And the other big things I'm worried about is because I, I know for a long time I knew why they want to bully me because they think that my autism is like a target on my back. And for a while, I actually believed that because that, I mean, and it made me feel like I don't want to be autistic. For a second, I didn't want to feel that so I, because I thought I didn't, they wouldn't want to bully, on me, bully me anymore. And that makes me feel very, that made me think about why I'm autistic. Why, I mean, they made me think about the reason why autism was even invented by God and that made me feel, that made me think about the entire, my entire existence and the purpose of my entire life. And, and I think that because of my autism, it makes me, it makes me, it makes me like feel like I'm always different than the others. That's why I always do different in un, un, unexpected things because I just want to show people that I, that what I'm made of and I show people that I can make a difference and my autism is not a target on my back. And and because that makes and because of that bullying problem makes me desperately cling on to people that love me for who I am. And and that makes me feel very happy and content, but sometimes it's not enough for me. I I only have a handful of friends at school. So that's why I desperately cling on to people that even make me feel happy in one day. Even though yeah, the another day they make me feel bullied. And that makes me feel very deep. It makes me deeply understand myself in a whole different level. That my autism is actually created to, to flavor the entire world, to bring uh, color to the world. But, but am I the only person that can do that, or is more people that can do that? It made me really question lots of things that I don't even want. I didn't even need, want. I needed an answer when I was young, and I really need to explore deeply and out with my family, my loved ones, and my therapist about that. Let's put the negative stuff aside. And I'm going to leave some room for the positive stuff, which is how to stand up for these bullies if this situation ever happened to you. Step one, go up to the bully and say this. Look, man, I don't like what you're doing, and I would appreciate if you would stop. If they say yes, then just leave them alone and continue your day. If they say no, then it's okay. Just ask an adult or a trusted person in the area and let them help you with this problem. Remember, whenever it is, everyone, if you have a bully problem, you can't and you can't do it alone. It's OK to ask for help. That's what that's what family or or trusted people are for. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about how powerful it is when people stand up to bullies for others. Now, there's just one time a bunch of boys teased me at, at at the cafeteria and the girls and my friend, she was very upset with this. So she did a very good thing. She told the teacher and then the teacher told my helper and then the helper told my mom. And because of that, I now know that those kids were teasing me because back then I had no clear clue about it because they were using sarcasm. And I did not really read sarcasm that good. And I was very grateful about that, that great act of kindness that my friend did for me. And I am very grateful for what that, for what happened that day. 
And that is a great example of how powerful it is when people stand up to bullies for others. It's a great sign of kindness to one another. Well, that was a nice thing my friend did for me, but now I'm going to share a message to people that are acting like bullies. You see, bullies, like I said in the beginning, are hurt people that hurt people. I have a, I have a little statement that helps it un- explain it way much easier. Think of, think of it as like a big balloon. It's deflated. But when people bully you, like your anger, it, it like inflates the balloon. It gets bigger and bigger the more times you bully, people bully you. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger until suddenly you have so much anger, you want to bully someone else and give that, that anger to another balloon. It gets bigger and bigger to the next balloon, and then it shares it to the next. And it gets bigger and shares it to the next. Bigger, it shares it to the next. And it won't stop. It just keeps going and going and going and going. But instead of doing that, when someone bullies you in, in the first, instead of showing, the, instead of, of like bullying another person, show kindness, happiness, and acceptance to lots of people. And instead of, instead of inflating the balloon with anger, it'll inflate them with love. And just like spreading anger, it'll spread the love across the entire world. Now, I'm going to tell you about what's it like to being accepted. Well, being accepted is like a feeling when you have when people like like you for who you are, for what you do. Not You're not like... Hiding your face, you're showing them, and people like you for who that who that person is. They're like, "Hey, that kid's very nice. Let's be friends with him." That's what acceptance is to me. People that love you for who you are and what you are. And to everyone on the globe, I wish for everyone in the world that they will have acceptance because the one goal, the one dream I have in this world is for every single human being and every single creature on the world to be accepted for who and what they are because that's what every single one of these people deserve no matter who you are whether you are a person who does good stuff a person who might do bad stuff each and every one of these people deserve acceptance and love for each other and remember everyone bullying will not make you powerful brave or cool. He'll only just make you, he'll only just give you hate, anger, and more desire to hurt more people. It'll never be enough for you. You'll never find happiness when you go down that path. Now, this is a message for all the bullies that are watching this episode. Bullying someone will not make you powerful or brave or cool, but you will just feel like you are. But that's not real power or bravery. That's just untreated pain and cowardice because you are being hurt. You feel that you have to hurt others to feel better. You're better than that. I believe in you. Be the kindness you hope to have. And to anyone out there still being bullied, you are not alone. Stay strong. You are beautiful. Thank you for listening and watching. This is Kai Talks.